Typically, cervical disc replacement is offered to younger patients who have one or two level disc disease, either with they have a herniated disc, with a nerve compression, or even spinal cord compression. First, 90% of the surgery is the same as anterior cervical discectomy and fusion. In that procedure, actually, we would go in, remove the part of the disc that's pushing against the spinal cord or the nerve root. And in those procedures, we either put a bone graft or a cage in the disc space, followed by a plate that will fix adjacent bone to each other, allow it to fuse over time. In cervical disc replacement surgery, basically the first part of the surgery is the same, but instead of putting a bone graft in the cage, along with the plate, we put an artificial cervical disc. The main benefit of having a disc replacement is that it preserves motion because number one, they're not wearing a cervical brace like a typical fusion surgery. So typically a fusion surgery, people may be in brace for four to six weeks, versus this surgery, they might be in the brace at most for one week or none at all. So people can actually resume your activities much quicker and return to their normal work or playtime, et cetera, much, much quicker.